Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point and this is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how how many ways we can able to install apk file into emulator. Okay, emulator means is the same similar format of your mobile. Okay, how we can able to emulator setup and appm server installation everything I explained in my previous videos. Please go through that. Okay, and here I'm going to before this you have to set up your Android Studio and emulator and app server installation and and you need to use to install for appm driver installation in the chromium and also you have to install for your automator too if you done for these two installation then you can able to work otherwise you can't okay before like you have to do this all the things okay for installation, APM driver installer, UI automator 2, and APM server, sorry, APM driver install Chromium. These are the two things you have to install. Then we need to start for APM port 4724. This uh, I'll tell you when you need to uh, run this server. Before that, we can able to see for steps to open for command prompt. Before uh, installing that APK file by using command prompt, you have to uh open android studio which i show in the, my previous videos and click on more actions and click on virtual device manager okay then you can able to choose this particular uh, mobile uh, setup also I explained to my previous videos okay you can go through that virtual device creation and in case if you are not seen then you can able to see here the click uh, clicking for virtual device okay and here you can able to choose for any phone okay if you are able to see play store one this is the one means it's already os is installed one okay and you can choose anything even new pieces also you can new mobile phone also you can choose and click on next click on next and then it will provide you for rc kiwi and this all the oss android platforms okay you can download any android platform okay then click on installation okay and it will uh, if you are going for new means you need to click for download it will take couple of minutes to download complete uh, os like uh, android everything it will install into your system okay then only it will come for next then only you need to choose for next here it will show for uh, both the cases you need to choose this one it will uh, good for view okay and here you can provide for your name or anything is not a mandatory you can provide this all the things okay then you can click finish then it will comes to here okay then i'm going to use for this nexa 5x api 30 i'm going to run my server this is the one opening your android studio uh android studio to emulator okay this is my emulator same look for uh mobile which is a mobile you have inside hand right same one you can able to scroll and everything okay now i'm able to see this particular one right now i'm going to using for command prompt i'm going to install for my whatsapp messenger that is it is presented for here d drive whatsapp messenger same i set up in the path already adb is a uh, android studio one then you can able to use for appm servers one then open CMD and paste it here. ADB hyphen E install and space you need to provide for APK file location. Now I have space in data, that's why I specify in data. If you have another drive to space something, uh, then you can keep it there and you can be able to use for the location of that particular APK. Now you can see for parallel now. Now I'm going to show you parallel. Now you can see I have only this much. Okay, if I'm going to enter here, now what will happen? It is start for performing streamed installation. In the back background, it will go and check for any emulator is and uh, up and running. If it is presented up and running, then it will install. Now you can see my uh, uh, WhatsApp Messenger came to here. Okay, this is the simplest one. And another very simplest one, drag and drop. I'm going to uninstall this my particular app. Now, okay. Now again, I'm going to do it. And here, my D drive, 
it is presented here. Just I'm going to do first. This one is second step, second type. Now I'm going to make it here. Now you can see here installation, APK file installation is started for here. See, APK file is started. These are the third, second type. Now we are going to see for third type. Third type I'm going to do for uh, Appium Inspector. I show that how to set up Appium Inspector in uh, my previous video. You can go through that. This is my Appium Inspector. See more, more or some YouTube channels, they are showing for you guys like something like uh, some other uh, way that is called Appium Server. That also it will work. This also work. Both the cases it will work. There is no issue for that. Okay. And here I'm going to choose from this particular one. And here we need to use for platform. And I'll copy this information. Then you can able to understand here. Copying and pasting here. This is by using Appium Server. Okay. This is a platform. Which is a platform and red platform. Appium platform version. Which version you are going to use. Version 11. How to find the version means in a Android Studio virtual device when you are installing, right? You can able to see Android version 11.0 Google Play 86. This is the one it is present. 11 is our playlist. If you click for virtual one and choose this one and come to here. And if you see any one, if I click for yes, you can see 12.0 is the Android version. If you click for S2 downloader, you can able to see 32 level, APA 32 level. The APA 32 level means it will work or it will not work sometimes. Okay, if you go for S2, yes, is a Android is Studio S2. Now, S2 is a Google Edge is the version. Google Inch is the version, but it will not provide you properly. Android 12 and Google Inch and APA level. Okay. That's why we can able to go up to yes version, then it will work for properly. Okay. Android version is 12. Okay. RS after clicking, you can able to see here as well. Appium level. Android 11.0 version. Okay. Then you can able to version, right? Then second one is devices. Android emulator. You can able to provide for emulator iPhone 3554. This is a default name. Or you can able to provide for uh, this name as well. Nexa 5X APA 30. Both the cases will work perfectly without any issue. Okay. And then once you done this particular one and you need to use for Appium app. Appium app is nothing but D double slash and where the location your file it is presented. Okay. Appium automation name that is called UI automator 2 that I told you right before running your server you have to install for U automator 2. Appium driver install ui automator 2 okay this is the one you have to install and this is also sometimes is required for this you have to install this as well because in the later video uh, time you can uh, we need to install for chromium driver as well for this we can able to use the, this particular information to install in the driver both the cases will work perfectly there is no issue you can install only one also it will work perfectly there is no issue okay now the final one this is a ensure web views having pages if something any issue is presented in the server side something code impact or something at uh, that moment if you provide for true means it will uh, click for that particular server to go ahead okay like that you can uh, use it or you cannot use it also no issue no problem okay up to here you have to use this emulator triple five five uh, triple five four is a common name for all emulators which is because we can able to run for one emulator we can able to get it this particular name if you run for multiple uh, emulators then you need to use for uh, each emulator is a new name 
where with the virtual device in this location you can able to see for different names right in this particular device name you can able to use it for this particular location device name device name location you can able to use it it will work okay now my android ui program 1.0 apk show dot apk presented here for me and this one i downloaded from google okay search the pc and apk file and i downloaded that particular one you can able to see whatsapp app messenger for android download for apk from device then you can able to download okay now here i am doing for another one that is called android ua program 1.0 apk sure for data apk file that i search from google which is the easiest one is presented that i downloaded from here google okay then i'm using the same one now you can now after doing this one and we need to run for appium server now we need to run for appium now you can see appium iphone p and which is the port number you are using for inspector same port or new port also you can able to use it now i am going to use for ipen p 4724 is my version i like my port number that i used okay now i am running you can see now it is started for uh, showing here is re required driver is your automated driver location is present and attempting to load for the chromium driver that chromium driver also available now it will uh, move something okay here you can able to see welcome to appium 2.0 beta version is presented okay that's why you can able to and now come to here just you need to start the session once you start the session you can see this is my mobile right same mobile view once the server is connected you can able to see here as well it will take some time it will take some time a uh, little bit time more but 100% it will work these are the three different patterns we can able to use and we can able to do it for uh, installing for apk file uh, why it is taking more time sometimes it will take because of this particular ui and loading and everything we need to write that's why it will take more time i can able to suggest you you by using for command prompt dot drag and drop that is the best way because it will not take more time we can able to do it very quick now here it is taking more time shit after close after closing it is installed actually socket we done see here is a new app came and stored right and here it came and stored here sometimes it will happen like this inspector or appium server sometimes it will work properly sometimes it will take more time to do it i closed then it is installed immediately in the back end because it is trying to install it right that's why it is installed here previous it is only we have this many now it is added for one more appm one also okay without any issue these are the three different ways we can able to install for apk file and next video session we will see for different options and all thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you